Usually you'll find us driving around the Stanford Medicine campus to tell you about the latest research and studies. But today we're taking a different mode of transportation. We're taking flight in life flight, our new medical air transport for patients in critical condition. Let's go. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is an exciting time, I think, for Stanford and for yourself to have a new fangled helicopter for medical transport. Yes, now this is definitely an upgrade from our previous aircraft and uh, we're just going into it right now, so it's brand new. The aircraft has upgraded avionics, upgraded engines, upgraded main rotor system. The engines themselves produce a lot more power so we can take more weight, more equipment. The new aircraft that we have um, allows us to configure the medical interior in kind of a plug and play sort of way where we can move around a lot of equipment that we already have to make it more efficient for us to treat patients, which means that we're able to do more while we're in the air. So we can actually access and get to our MCS equipment for ECMO, Impella, our really sick cardiac patients, which is a huge patient population that we render care to and is a specialty service that we provide that most other area critical care transport programs can't do. It's also a much smoother ride, um, which allows us to render treatments um, like arterial lines, ultrasound guided IV access, um, ultrasound, that are more difficult to do when there's vibration. It's really hard to look at a small screen and get an accurate judge of what you're doing when everything's vibrating. This particular system will allow us to go down to lower minimums so the weather conditions can be worse, but we can still operate safely. All right, you guys, is everyone strapped and ready? I feel the need for speed. By one, Stanford Mesa, copy your report. Your call number is 25-0277. Time now is 11.48. Have a good flight. How's everybody doing? This is incredible. <laughs> having a twin engine uh, and also having an autopilot, how does that make the job easier for you in transporting patients? With all the auto automation, I can monitor things. I'm not actively doing a, you know, juggling seven balls in the air. I'm juggling far less, so I can, my attention, I, I can dedicate to um, important factors in the mission like fuel, weather, how the systems are doing, and having a twin engine aircraft. If we had an engine failure, the aircraft would take care of it all. I wouldn't ha really have to do anything. Uh, the other engine would take up the slack, and we'd be able to continue single engine. Is it possible for you to point out, sort of a show and tell, what you have back there and how it helps? Yep. Um, Doug, can I get out of belt? Absolutely, yep. Cool. Cool, so we have a newer, bigger uh, stretcher with a higher patient weight capacity. We have this kind of interchangeable mount system because depending on what's going on with a patient, we may have different devices that we need to bring, like an Impella, ECMO, um, they might need a ventilator, they might need heated high flow on the ventilator. So we kind of are able to plug and play our equipment depending on what's going on with the patient. We have extra plugs here in the back for oxygen, medical air, and suction. Air medical is a very fluid environment and involves a lot of just kind of maneuvering in tight spaces, so thinking of forward about three steps like you're playing chess is how we get patients from point A to point B safely while also providing top of the line care. So Doug, let me ask you a personal question. What do you like best about your job with Life Life? I like the safety culture, I like the, the teams that I work with. If the people aren't good, then you don't last very long at a job. And I've been here for 27 years, so uh, that says something about their tolerance, and it does say a lot about how good the people are that I work with. What is that like for you to be in the air right now, on life flight, doing your dream job? I just think I have the coolest job in the world, you know? It's like it's hard to have a bad day at work when you're doing this. <laughs> the sky's the limit for you, huh? <laughs> Literally. All right, shut it down.